Um, can I? I can't even talk to. What the hell? It's like a freaking rabbit person. I'm a child of the dragon tribe. I would not have guessed dragon. When you get older, you become something incredible. Of course, you know that though. Yeah, and all the cats are following you. What's up, barkeep? Barkeep, I want, I want something. Leave the cat alone. Can I play something on the jukebox? There's only one disc. Listen. Oh, it's broken. Oh, he needs a new disc so we can listen to it. Huh? That sounds like a side quest to me. I don't know for sure. Hold on for just one second. Okay, let's see what else there is in town. We have a sign here that I can't read. What the hell? The two little girls again. Nothing over there, but what do we have here? Selection of many types of accessories to protect you from all sorts of damage. Is it better than the nightmare? I doubt it. What is up? Nerdy looking dude. The accessories are all treasures, so buying them's no loss. But remember, I don't work for the store though. Of, of course. Uh, why are cabinets in my way? Now there's like a stove in my way. None that fit me. Guns are too dangerous. Our swords are too heavy and bulky. Isn't there a weapon that's safe, light, and easy to use? How about your fists? The ideal weapon. What? What? What is it? Oh, come on. Oh, they didn't even put a space between the, the first sentence and the second sentence. He's not even going to tell me. The ideal weapon. Did I talk to you? Oh my gosh. I hate these repeat dialogues and I can't fast forward through them. I thought I'd talk to the other person. Okay, so you. What's up? He's traveled various countries looking for his ideal weapon. I'm just a woman attracted by his ardor. He said he'd continue on until he found this weapon. His journey may never end. When he, when will he ever look at me and not these weapons? Uh, when um, you shoot like swords out of your ears, that might help. All you need to protect yourself from various status effects is right here in my shop. What do you have? Metal jacket. Do I not have nightmare equipped on Faye? I don't think I ever got around to that. Nothing new. Nothing new. Now I swear that Faye he's still on the metal jacket. Did I never put the nightmare on him? Didn't I get another nightmare? I am going... That is frustrating. I swear I got another nightmare somewhere along the line. Go back and check my notes. Okay, anyways, moving on. I can't read any of these signs, so after they told me to read all the signs, I can't read any of them. There's no other town nearby as near as ours. Even bigger city in the skies above. But I ask you, who's ever seen a floating city? Well, they said that they, like, shielded it somehow. It's called Shavat, which is, like, the last month of the Hebrew calendar, but whatever. It looks like I've been everywhere here. No, there's got to be some more, you know? This place is supposed to be huge. She so says the criminal detention area. It's a dirty place full of criminals. You can come and go freely through here, but nobody would ever go there of free will. Right, of course not. Um, and I think that's off. Yeah, it's off. Now, I know that there's at least one more thing that I need to do here. It's just a matter of finding it. Here we go. Locked from the inside. So don't bother me. See ya. He doesn't like to be bothered. Nice. I want the car. How much for the car? I let myself get out of shape. And I'm trying to build up my physique by running around in circles. Feels a little futile. Yeah, you should try a treadmill. It's so much less futile than running in circles. Barracks, interesting. Prohibited. Hey, aren't you the battling champion? Permission? Why you don't need that? You're the champ. Hell yeah! It's about time this champ stuff started paying off. What's up? 
Okay. It's good to be a soldier, of course. In the industrial block lies a relic from an ancient civilization, a giant reactor. That reactor produces power beyond our ability to control. It's something man will never be able to yield, except we once did. Whatever. For today's lecture, we will discuss the movement of gears on the world map. I understand that most of you are ex-battlers and are well acquainted with the gears, but it should be no loss for you to relearn the basics. First, the limits to the area of movement of gears. It is impossible to walk through dense forests in a gear. So, being hasty, just press the L2 and R2 buttons. Simultaneously, you will all get out of your gears. Once you pass through the forest, you may once again get on your gears. Good to know! Class dismiss. But movement over water is not possible. No shit, Sherlock. And then he goes to stands in the corner. This sucks. He thinks it's a lecture, but all he does is say the same thing every day. Compared to this, I was fighting a lot more in my battling days. Maybe I should quit the military. The officer's lecture is always the same. It's hard on us people who have to listen to him. He keeps adding to the rules, regulations, and control of activities. I wish I could go back to my days as a battler. Apparently, the army sucks. Who knew? What's up, dude? It's a shame to keep him a private. But that one over there has been sitting there this all this time. Who is he? We're training for the Kaiser Sigmund Defense Parade. Really? There's a parade in this one, too? How many times have I brought up seven, Final Fantasy VII already? And you're going to start doing parades for the for the Kaiser, just like the freaking Shinra guy, whatever his name was. I still feel weak the more I sleep, the more lethargic I get. They say sleep makes strong children. Is that true? I have no idea. Don't ask me about sleep. I don't do it. A power nap! There's just something not right with the special sauce. It's not special enough. We we need to add more special ingredients. It's always the same special ingredient. It's semen. What's up? I'm the cook for the Imperial Barracks. I can get in trouble for having you guys in here. You aren't even soldiers. I thought I told them strictly not to allow civilians in. What am I gonna do? Nobody listens to me. What's up, dude? That's facing the wall in the corner. I just graduated from the Imperial Officer School as an elite. <laughs> you you are an elite cook's helper. Nicely done. Your parents must be so proud. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? There we go. Just because he's good at gear combat, I'm still his senior. Life isn't fair. I'm gonna go emo now. What's up? It's not like we've ever been overly proud of him. Okay, whatever you're talking about. And, oh, I wanted to get Nash out, but she turns with me. Those people seriously, every time, it's not going to be worth it. Oh, I, I got a glimpse, I got a glimpse, there it is. There it is. So, I mean, there's lots of little itty-bitty things in this game, you know, that really don't have anything to do with anything, but they've put a lot of effort into the surrounding world of the game, you know, just outside of what you would normally do. But man, this this camera, this camera. Okay, so let's try going back up here because if I remember right, there is actual stuff up here that we can do. See, look, there's this little hole here, and it's not there for no reason. What's 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 down the chimney? And somehow he did not land on my face. Is this it? Oh, it's an outhouse. Oh, get me the hell out of here. Yeah, you put a roof on that crap. Oh my god, like an open air. Oh, where did you? What? You're the one from D Block. Wait, who are you? You did not. Oh my god. Uh, no, I do, I, I do wish, though, but, um, I did not cheat on you, Satan. What happened between us is between us. Probably can't tell by the way I'm dressed. 
the doctor! Oh, it's the doctor, the first doctor. How you doing? You got that collar off. I did. I'm the battling champion. No longer a prisoner. That's great. I knew you were strong. We have never met. I am Satanazuki. You could say that I am his guardian. Presently, I'm the doctor in the Imperial D block. That's probably the most true statement that Satan has ever said. Based on what he's telling the Emperor, it sounds like he is there. He's in this game just to guard Faye. You know? Wait, does that make Faye a summoner? If Satan is a guardian? Whatever. I'm overthinking this game. Mind if I interrupt? You already did. You're the doctor in charge here. That's what I hear from Hammer. On the request of Empire, I'd agree to be in charge of this part of the city, but now they're telling me that I already have enough doctors. So for now, I'm just on standby. Yeah, you're kind of stuck now. Do you think you could return to D Block? Well, yeah, we're leaving, and uh, Doc's kind of leaving too. So, uh, you can have your old job back. Come to me, I'll try to help in any way I can. Please take care of everyone. Thanks, I owe you one. What's up? Hang in there. Alright, we've hit another save point. That means that's going to do it for these episodes of Let's Play Xenogears. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.